Hello, hello, and this will be the third series. Again, it's sponsored by all the amazing patrons, so I hope you like it. And please thank them in the comments because they are insane and they're super awesome. So we're going to keep into the guide room. And now that we saw the basic setup on how to work with the guide room here, we will go inside. And you can see that we here have three inputs and three outputs. So we have the guide input, the skin input, and the skin BDP. This one is mostly for collisions. This is the one that gets generated on, or the attributes. Uh, it carries the attributes, and this will be the guide information that we saw from the outside. So the first thing that we need to know is that we have different ways to actually affect the guides. The first one is the guide process node. So all these ones that you can see here can be also affected via the guide process node. So you have set direction, set length, lift, straighten, smooth, freeze, bend, clump, part, add white hairs. And something that I don't like to use, reguide, because it's way too slow. And there's another ways to create it faster. Reguide is not a node that I would like to see. And I have heard from a lot of different people that it's really slow for them too. So it doesn't make me think that I'm using it wrong. Uh, but it's better to use a hair generate in this case than a reguide. So just cross that one doesn't exist. And the most amazing curve at back. We're going to start with a curve at back that is a different process from the guide groom. And then we're going to jump into the guide groom process or the, the guide process. Uh, brush and all the settings on the next tutorial. First one, we're going to jump into the curve at back. So once you have your inside of the geo groom or the groom, uh, the form, you're going to just click here. And this is going to create a different set of nodes. You can see that connects uh, the basic curve at back connects the input of the guides, outputs the guides, connects the, the skin, outputs the skin and connects directly the skin BDB, but it also creates three different nodes. And we're going to see what do they do. The first one is a draw curve. So this is a basic drawing curve function in Houdini. Then it mirrors the curve that we created and it generates a velocity from uh, the curves. So if you create the curve from this point towards this point, it reads that direction as being zero and being one, and then creates a direction. And from that creates a velocity and that generates a BDB. And from the BDB, the curve at back has an input. So you can see it's a velocity and input or velocity and collision BDB. And that generates a direction. So if we go into the draw curve, we just draw a basic curve here. You can see it there basic beautiful curve and it's getting mirrored by this mirror node so you can see here it exists on the right side well maybe it doesn't well let's just go back back yeah it exists there and if we go here you can see that there's a bdb object here and that's generator or velocity and if we go into the curve add back you can see what happened. The guides are actually following now what we draw here. So let me go back before we draw anything. So we have it here, there's nothing. We come to our curve at back and select this. So you can see what I'm ha what's happening when I draw. And this is going to make the groom follow and interpolate properly. If you want to create it outside of the mirror, then you will have to rebound the mirror and affect that on that area. But yeah, you can see here that you can get a basic flow. Let's say that this is a leg, so we can have really nice effects from uh, a really nice curve. And this is really fast. If you want to have some effects, you have a photograph or you have a good ref and you just want to follow the direction and you can combine this later with a lift. So you have those fur there and you just put the direction and then you have all your hair like this and then you add a lift that is going to lift the areas. So it's going to look like this and then you can add a pair CV 
so you can make it look like this or like this and even if it's super straight at the moment and it's colliding with your BDB you can affect this effect later to have a beautiful groom with just a really fast curve at back. This is awesome for creatures. It's really, really cool and super fast if you need to follow some directions. If we go out, you can see that the guides are following that. And if I go to the geo level and turn off my guide room, you can see that our geo is following properly, or, or groom, sorry, it's following properly all the effects that we added here. So this is a curve at back. I hope you liked it and then we will jump into the guide room guide process notes.